Coffee with Tim Black. There's something that has been boiling over the last week or so, maybe a couple weeks, that is that to me, besides death, besides death, loss of life, um, it kind of is right up there in my opinion. And that's something is the appearance of Chelsea Clinton on the political scene to me, to me, is damn near Armageddon. All right? Like that to me. I can't think of a worse person. Oh, I, oh let, me, let me go the other way. I can't think of a better person to give me more reason to tell the Democratic Party to stick it than to hear, have to hear from Chelsea, I don't know what I'm talking about. Ooh, this seems like a good way to get involved. Clinton on Twitter and Facebook, like, that this this is good. If you want to give us more ammunition, like the Clintons are so arrogant. They could lose twice in a row, watch the dismantling of their party, and still, not only do they not go away, they multiply. They multiply. Now that is the epitome of arrogance, y'all. I don't care where you come from. Like, not only do you not get out, you brought more people with you. Where they do that at? All right, where, where does that? Where do? You, where? How, how do? How am I supposed to accept that? I'm not. I don't. I don't. You know, go away, Chelsea. Just stay with your hedge fund husband and, and live in your million dollar house or whatever your apartment. Con do that. Leave us alone. Stop chiming in on easy, low-hanging fruit. Ooh, Trump said something. I got something to say. You and Elizabeth Warren and all these other, uh, oh, this is hard work. It's hard work tweeting against Trump. Hey, could you want come fight with us at No Dapple? No, thank you. I'm over here. I'm busy. Don't you see me tweeting at, at, at Trump? I'm over here. This is hard work. This is democracy in action. I'm resisting. See? I'm resisting. And you listen to these Democrats, you keep listening to the Democratic Party tell you how uh, how much resistance they have to Trump and how much they hate his tweets. If you believe that, you are crazy. They love it. It gives them something to do. If not, they would have to focus on their failing party, their, 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 their low ratings. They have to focus on all the losses in the House and the Senate. Is that only a distraction for the media companies who love it? They love it. They lie to you. People wake up. They love this. They love this is great for them. You watching, aren't you? Then they're happy. Do you understand that? Oh, I'm so pissed off and stuff. This. I can't believe he's still tweeting. This is so unpresidential. Please keep doing what you're doing, sir. I can't. You might, you know, because without focusing on a Trump tweet, they might have to focus on the fact in their districts, the black unemployment rate in some of these cities where these black caucus members are running their mouth at, talking about Trump, 40-something percent for males between 19 or 21 and 34. Like 40 percent, some of these places, like Chicago, Detroit, Milwaukee, like 40 to 50 percent. Do you understand what I'm telling you? And they'd rather talk to you about Trump. Oh, God, I can't believe he said something to uh, John Lewis. I can't believe he said that to a civil rights icon. Oh, my God, we could talk about this forever. No one really cares. They only care because you keep telling them to care. But in actuality, most people don't care about what Trump tweets. Now, if you ask me, should he tweet? I say no, but you know what? I don't care. <sighs> People say all this stuff that's going on that Trump's doing that's negative is being hidden by the tweets and stuff because people stay distracted on the tweets. Well, you know what? I don't think Trump's hiding what he's doing. He's signing paper right in front of everybody, just signing paper, just, you know, 
Like, like, with, like, Leo just like, I am now signing. You know, he doesn't care. The media is focused on the tweets. They want the ad revenue. Look, I have a YouTube channel. I'm not a big player in the game, but I know that people want to place ads on videos. That's an ad game buy. It's an ad play. It's an advertising play. Mr. Resistance, we are resisting you know, persistence. We're persistent in our resistance, in our consistent resistance to the persistence of 